college football question, it comment, whatever, just a, a topic to hit on. Um, the question that I had written down was, what is the downside of having a G5 playoff to go along with the college football playoff? Uh, I don't know that there is a downside here, but th- the way that I would set it up would be you do the G5 playoff, and if a G5 team were to get into the actual four-team playoff, which I think it's going to expand. So if they did it, you know, whatever, we'll figure that out. But the reason I bring this up, uh, I think that more meaningful football helps the sport. Am yes. I crazy for thinking that? I, I want to get your no. thoughts on this. No, I'm, I'm, I like this concept. I really do. I, I want the G5 to get more credit than it gets because its top end is really good football. Okay, yeah. it's really good. And can they hang with the Alabamas and the Oklahomas and the Ohio State? Probably not. Clemson's probably not. Okay, that's fine. But systematically, we see these teams show up big in bowl games against other big-name schools all the time. And just because you can't beat those top five schools in the country year in and year out, doesn't mean you might not be able to beat six or seven or eight, okay? And those would make unbelievable games. Now, we're not saying pit them against six, seven, and eight. Um, but Here's the way that I'm looking at it, okay? So Memphis last year played in the Cotton Bowl against Penn State. Memphis was far and away, we believe, the best G5 team out there. They beat Cincinnati twice. They... They, I mean, they hammered a bunch of ranked teams last year. Like they just, yes. they handled a lot of good teams. Fantastic resume. So, Memphis going to the Cotton Bowl goes and gets fifty plus hung on them by a Penn State team that could not score against other teams that had good defense. Minnesota, right? yeah, not not elite defense. I'm not talking LSU, Bama, yeah. Ohio State, Clemson defense. Yeah, Penn okay? State put up seventeen on. I'm Minnesota. talking about Minnesota defense. So. And, and that's the that's the issue, right? There's there's a talent gap there. So while it is fun to get to go to the Cotton Bowl, et cetera, you know, and you do have teams like UCF that show up against an Auburn, um, or I mean, good gracious, UCF the year before that when they played against LSU, LSU was missing basically the entire defense. Like everybody's injured, people sitting out, all that kind of stuff in the Fiesta Bowl, and LSU still beat them. Now, yeah. obviously, UCF was without their starting quarterback, but... That's a big deal. That's a big deal. Yeah, big deal, but it's also a big deal when, you know, like four of your five starting defensive backs are sitting yeah. out. And, true, true. true. So and, and, that's a, and, and all those guys are NFL guys, by the way. And like, this, yeah, this like is not to take every away. Every person that didn't play in that game due to injury or sitting out it is was going to get drafted or did get drafted that year. Like, right, right. So we, we are talking about UCF and Memphis who have made, you know, the the uh, what are the New Year's Six bowl games yeah. in the last three years. Boise's always in that conversation. Right. So, always. so let me go through. If we were to make an eight-team playoff out of this, and they may not do eight, they could just do four, and we can figure okay. that out as well. But if they did an eight-team playoff, last year you had Memphis, Boise State, Appalachian State, who only had one loss, Miami of Ohio, and Florida Atlantic, right? Those were the conference champion teams from last season. Then you also had Cincinnati, who had 11 wins. You had UCF, who had 10 wins after their bowl game. I would, about say, had, I would take Cincy and UCF over most of those teams yeah, with, and then, with one loss. And then you've got Louisiana, who yeah. was really, really good. Their only two losses on the entire state. They went 12-2. and two. Their only two losses were to App State. That's yeah. it. So, yeah, Cincinnati's only two losses were to Memphis and then to Ohio State, which... yeah. Different, different class. Exactly. So Cincinnati, their bowl game that they got for a ten and threes or a whatever in three season, eleven and yeah. three, I guess. Eleven and three. Yep. They were at the the Birmingham Bowl against what Boston College? Isn't that right? Yeah, I don't remember. They beat the hell out of somebody. Boston College. Yeah. So I don't remember what. It but was. that's it, for an eleven and three season. That's what they got. If if Memphis had not made the New Year's Six. Say that Boise State had gone undefeated or whatever, and Boise got that Cotton Bowl berth. Memphis's next best option is the Birmingham Bowl, 
Like, that's what's insane. Florida <laughs> Atlantic, I, what, they ended up playing in their home stadium. That's what they got for an 11-win season. Like, give these teams more initiative, more incentive to play. And you can turn it into a big-time event. We have seen this time and time again. So it would it would come across, in theory, like an NIT, and everybody would immediately roll their eyes. The, the problem is, is it's not going to be an NIT in execution, okay? Right. W- when you actually watch it play out, if you got great games out of it, you it would be way better. It oh, really yeah. would be way better. So even if you were to turn it into only a four-team playoff, yeah. you still you do two games on the same day in the same stadium, wait a week, and then play a national champion or a, a G five yeah. championship. Well, and you can like, inter you can inter, inter intermatch the bowls. We got to get rid of some of these conference tie in bowl games. You you could still you know send them out to San Diego and let them play in what would be the holiday bowl. You know, like yeah. that's that's a great trip for any of these teams because none of these schools are in unbelievable cities. Okay, Memphis would love to go to San Diego. Cincinnati would love to go to San Diego. Um, Boise love to go to San Diego. Like all of these places, and and you you get a week there and you get your party and you get your parade and you get your whatever and then you play a, a big time game in a big time city. And there's no no we're not we're not besmirching Birmingham. Listen, that's that's a, that's as close to home yeah. as you get for us. But come on, yeah, that's nobody wants to go to Birmingham. Yeah, no, it's it's the truth. Like, that's not a reward for anyone. Well, on top of that, I mean the the Mountain West Conference champion gets to go to uh, it was Las Vegas, and then yeah. and then they took away the Vegas trip. I'm about to say they're know? about to bump that. So and and they're going to get to go to L.A. now, which should be that's, fun. But it's awesome. That's big. But yeah. yeah. Uh, let me go through some of the comments here, uh, which everybody has said that, like, I'm still showing that we are live and we are rolling and everything is good, uh, but everybody on the platforms said that uh, that our feed is gone, so I don't know what's going on with that. Man, I'm about uh, to try to see. I'm about to try to see if I can pull up Facebook. Well, that's that's what I'm looking at. But they uh, Ben said that's the only one died. I can find. But uh, yeah. a lot of people said, "What the hell? You guys are gone." Um, nope, I got nothing on Facebook. Said they gone. Let's see. I'm trying to look at the restream setup, and it is saying offline. And yet I'm sitting here, I got looking a, at yep. it streaming. That is interesting. Okay, I don't know what to do about that. I guess we keep going. I mean, I guess. Sure. <laughs> I mean, we but we can't restart the show. Oh, now. Ben, no, Ben said Periscope's working. So, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. All right. Um, so, if we were to do a playoff like that, obviously, if you have one of these G5 teams that can get into the top four, then you do that. Um, but other than that, tell me that the Cotton Bowl last year would not have wanted Penn State against uh, Alabama or whoever, right? Yeah. Um, while Memphis, like, it's great for them to get an opportunity like that, it's also, okay, you know that you don't match up. So what is, the purpose of going out there is, yeah, let's have a good trip. We don't really expect to win, but, you know, this will be fun and we can see where we stand. If you're going into a G5 playoff, you are still playing for a trophy. Like, and it gives you more incentive to, you know, go out and schedule these non-conference games and whatnot to where you can actually test yourself in the season. I think that that could be a lot of fun, but I, I, I think I think this is a fantastic idea. I think yeah, I do too. I don't really know how to matters. execute it. They, they, I'm okay with them always intermingling these things around bowl games. My problem is, is I'm not I'm not the guy that says we got to get rid of some of these bowl games. My problem is, is we don't need five bowl games in the state of Alabama. I've been to Alabama. Okay. Yeah. That that we that is not a destination for anyone. All right. Agreed. There's not a single stadium that anyone in the world wants to go and play. So there's they don't need one. Let open Jerry World up again and let them have another event. And I'm sure Jerry World would love to sell tickets to that. Oh yeah. And 100%. I bet you you know all these shitty bowls that no one can get a sponsor for. Put it in Vegas's new stadium, and I bet. I bet you magically get a sponsor. Oh, yes. Okay? And put a better game together. 
and I bet you get a sponsor. Yeah. yeah but we got to, so. at some point in time, in order to make the best matchups, we have to begin to tear down conference tie-ins to bowl games. We just do. Because that's handcuffing us from getting so many good matchups. Well, I have to take somebody from this conference and somebody from this conference and play them. We have to. But but now we get a shitty game, and you've got a really good opportunity for somebody else to play another team that would be an unbelievable matchup. Yeah, I, uh, I'm i with you. I'm with you. I mean, I, I don't understand it. I, I don't... Uh... You know, I don't understand why we don't do more to to give people the opportunity to play for something that means a little more rather than attendance it- right now at bowl games are really bad. Okay. Bowl games are we have forty bowl games because they print money from T V dollars. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Because on, on a Tuesday afternoon in December, they'll draw two million eyes. All right. That that's why we have all of them. But if you but if you take it out of middle of nowhere Alabama Okay, and you and you moved it to San Diego or somewhere, just a vaca- a destination location. All right, then then it would be a hell of a lot better game to sell. Okay, and and fans would actually show up and go. Both teams would want to be there. I mean, I'm not just well, crapping on see, Alabama. Okay, but the here, Motor City the Bowl does not need to be there. All right, it, nobody wants to go to Detroit in December. Yeah. They really don't. Nobody. People who live in Detroit and have the money to leave leave during December. None of them want to be there. Yeah. No, I, I completely understand like, where like you're coming I, from. We have enough great, great destinations, and it doesn't have to always be warm weather places. I'm, I'm, I'm going to bet Colorado Stadium is a much better place to be than Motor City. Well, yeah, I think you're right, and, and we'll talk about that when we talk about our our top ten. Uh, I mean, I, I, so, so, okay, I, with the pinstripe bowl every year. That's in, that's in a cold weather location, but it's New York City. Well, it's New York City. There's stuff to do. And that's an awesome destination for people to go at Christmas ben, time. New York is like the most magical city in the country at Christmas. Ben said the Tunica Bowl. Uh, I, it looks like we got our stream back up, by the way. That's good. I don't know uh, what we did. We, I, have no I guess idea. the I, magic of the internet. I went opinion. through and, and, and disconnected and then reconnected. Oh, there uh, we go. Good. So, Kick it, turn it off, turn it back on. I mean, yeah, turn it back off and and whatnot. But uh, apparently, Periscope stayed on the whole time. I I guess that I, I don't understand any of this. Who but. knows? Who knows? I, it, it looks like Restream just kind of decided to crap out on us. The um, Tunica Bowl used to be a uh, dirt track. It was a dust bowl, <laughs> and I used to, I spent many uh, Saturday nights there. There you go. There you go. Um, in 2018, by the way, I'll I'll roll through these because I went through and did some research on them. Um, UCF was your AAC champion. Fresno State, your Mountain West champion. App State, Sun Belt. Mac was Northern Illinois. They beat uh, a really good, like, 11-win Buffalo team uh, at the last second, if you remember that. Um, yep. And then Conference USA was UAB. Uh, and then the three that I had outside of that was Cincinnati, who had 11 wins, Buffalo, who had 11 wins, or uh, 10 wins, and Utah State. Uh, yeah. Utah State was 11-2. and two. Um, Can't imagine a year where Boise wouldn't have been in it if we expanded to eight, but that's one. Uh, and then 2017 was UCF, Boise State, Troy, Toledo, Florida Atlantic, uh, South Florida, Memphis, and Fresno State. The reason I didn't have Boise State in in 2018, they they went nine and four. No, and no, they didn't deserve to be in. Yeah, they didn't. Win they the weren't one of the didn't. best eight G five schools. I just they just they didn't have the resume to do it. Yeah. So I would imagine if they did, no, I'm eight, okay with that. It's just know. hard to it's hard to think about that. You and know? I also, you know what? I probably instead of putting Buffalo, uh, probably instead of Buffalo. We we probably would need to put maybe army like maybe some of these independents we would need to think about Notre Dame well, yeah has they enough. they would definitely be thrown in the mix of this yeah. absolutely so even though they're independent they, I they, think would, they still would still be they would go in this the criteria qualifier yeah. yes so um, just right. like Notre Dame gets thrown into the G five they get the thrown P5. into the yeah. yeah to the B five they get thrown into the G five yeah all right so with that said let's go on and uh, 